In this problem, we're being asked to find the domain of this function. The domain is all of the values of x that you can plug in that make sense. So there's two ways to do this problem. So let's do it two ways. Solution one. Solution one is to realize that whenever you're taking a square root, whatever it's inside it can't be negative. So this piece here cannot be negative. If it can't be negative, that means it has to be zero or positive. So step one, whenever you have a square root function and you're looking for the domain, is to take the entire thing in the square root and set it greater than or equal to zero every time. So just take this whole thing and set it greater than or equal to zero. Then you can subtract nine from both sides. So minus nine, minus nine. So we have x greater than or equal to minus nine. And from here you can get the answer. You could draw a picture if you like. So here's negative nine. We're looking for all of the numbers that are bigger than negative nine. So they'd be over here on the number line. And because we have an equal to part in our inequality, we include the negative nine. And so we use a bracket. And so from the picture, you can get the answer in interval notation. So bracket negative nine to infinity. And that'll be the final answer. Another way to do this problem is a little bit different. It requires some graphing knowledge. So realize that the core function or the parent function or the mother function, all kinds of names you can give it for this is y equals the square root of x, right? So y equals the square root of x looks like this. Uh, looks something like that. Okay, that's the square root of x function. So here we have the square root of x plus nine. So that means that we're going left nine. It's always backwards when you add uh, to the x. So you take this graph that's down here and you shift it left nine. So if you're at zero and you go left nine, that's gonna put you at negative nine like this. So it'll look something like this. So this is the graph of f of x. So from this picture, you see that the domain is all the x's. So it's all of these values here. And notice there's a dot at negative nine, so you include it. So you use a bracket. So once again, the answer is negative nine to infinity. So two ways to do the same problem. I personally use solution one uh, because sometimes uh, it can be harder to graph uh, the function. So uh, sometimes an algebraic approach is a safer bet. I hope this video has been helpful.